Hello, my name is Devin, and I'll be presenting on my research this summer with Professor Mirandi at Caltech. And the title of my work is An Efficient Broadband Source, Supercontinuum Generation in Nanophotonic Waveguides. Before I get into the details of what that means, I'm going to go over some background and motivation for the project. Now, planets outside of our solar system are very difficult to detect but they can be detected by looking at the colors emitted by the stars that they orbit. As a planet orbits a star, its gravitational pull leads to shifts in the colors emitted by the star. These shifts can be detected with a special device, but one key component for such a device is that a multicolored light source is needed. Now, a multicolored light source or a broadband light source can be created with um, one class of devices called nanophotonic waveguides. And the, their goal as a black box is to take a single color input and produce a many colored output. Now this is what a nanophotonic waveguide looks like. You'll notice there's a nonlinear crystal with a ridge that guides light along its length. There's a periodic patterning referred to as polling that ensures that a specific nonlinear process occurs. So in this case, that nonlinear process could be the broadening of one color into many different colors. The exact crystal that my project is working with is lithium niobate. And you'll notice another dimension of this waveguide is its width, which controls the speed of different colors of light within the waveguide. Now, my project this summer is working with Professor Mirandi with these waveguides, all on simulations, to try and design the parameters of polling and width for the best, broadest possible output. Now, the first stage of my work is just to understand how polling and width affect everything. And then the second is to use the intuition I gain to then design polling and width for this multicolored output from a single colored input. The way that I'm doing this and carrying out this work is with, um, in Python, using simulation code written by Luis Ludesma. And I'm just adding minor things to it to allow me to change, for example, the polling parameter which previously was always held constant, as well as to try and understand how the different dimensions, how, how the width of the waveguide affects everything. Now, an example of the kind of plots I look at for the results is shown here. I change the polling parameter as a function of distance or length in the waveguide on the right. In the middle, I can observe the simulation output of the of the pulse in time. And on the left, I can look at how much energy is at a specific color over the length of the waveguide. This is just for one waveguide. I can do this kind of plot for many different waveguides and observe the changing outputs. So you can see I'm varying the polling and there's very different behaviors in time and as well as in energy spectral density. Now, just to summarize where my work stands, I've varied polling and observed the results and tried to gain intuition for that parameter. I'm currently working to understand how width affects the dispersion of the waveguide. So shown here is a plot of dispersion, um, which has to do with how different colors travel at different speeds within the waveguide. And my future goal is to use the intuition I gain from polling and from waveguide width to then design for the best, broadest, or multicolored output. Now I'd like to thank Professor Mirandi and Luis for all of their help and support this summer, as well as to the MSRP program. And I acknowledge that this summer project was funded by Google.